Well, it's 75% of you guys that uh, watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you could, go down below, hit the subscribe button. Also click the bell so you don't miss another video. And let's get right into it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. We are back on the new account. We are doing the site from scratch. And uh, made a good amount of progress money-wise since the last time. Where I left off in the last video was... I was going to use up all the runes because of killing abyssal demons, trying to get all the whips and maybe getting some dark totem pieces to kill Skatizo. And I saved all the loot. The only thing that I sold was the dragon boots so I can extend the task because I was extending each one because otherwise I'd be killing like somewhere around like 30-ish of them every single time. But if I extended, I was getting between like 50 and 60 of them a task. And I wanted them to be on task because I bought a lot of perks, which I'll show you in a second and explain why I bought kind of each one of them just so you guys have a better idea. So if you want to take this path on your own, then you can see why I did the certain perks. But first, let's go ahead and look at the perks. And then after that, I'm going to show you guys the loot. Here are all the perks that I have unlocked. Uh, we'll start up here. First one is the Kluchkor one, which gives, provides plus 5% drop rate increase to Kluchkors from assigned Slayer monsters. Uh, I did this one because later on if I'm going to do like uh, Slayer bosses, so like Bando, Zami, all those ones, and uh, getting a better chance at a clue scroll, that's always a good thing, especially elites because they're like a bill or something right now. The other one I did was the Brimstone Key one, um, so while I'm kissing, killing these Abyssal Demons, uh, I could get a better chance at the Brimstone Keys because they give a lot of bones and a lot of supplies, so that could also help out build my account up, but also I could sell it too. Uh, the next one I got was the Dark Totem Collector. I got this one first, actually, at all of them. Just because the whole idea of me doing the Abyssal Demons was to get these Dark Totem pieces so then I can go kill Skatizo and hopefully get Elites, which would make the profits way more. But as you'll see in the loot tab, I didn't get as many as I thought I would. And this is also with this Dark Totem Collector. I got this, like, the first one. Once I got enough points for it, it was like, I don't know, I think it was like 3,000-ish Slayer points. Once I got that... I bought it immediately and it definitely did help at first I was getting like no pieces at all and then once I got this perk unlocked I got tons of pieces I was getting a good amount like not gonna lie to you and then the other one is the this one which um more monsters will now be assigned on shorter slayer tasks so I thought it would help out like all of them like abyssal demon so I get more but it didn't but also I did it because later on when I do like the bigger bosses like bandos and all them Instead of getting like 5 or 10 of them per task, I'll get more of them per task with this. So that also helps out later on because I definitely want to be on Slayer Task since I have all these perks. Because these perks definitely will help me get more drops and everything in certain things. And then ultimately make me more money hopefully. So now let's go ahead and get into the loot tab. Uh, I'm actually excited to show this one. Okay, now let's go ahead and show the loot tab. Here we go. So starting off, we ended up getting 42 Brimstone Keys, which is nice. Uh, the B-Ring is mine. Um, we got eight Ancient Shards, which should be enough to get me the Arc Light. I'm pretty sure. Um, we have five Dark Totems full, and we have one piece left over. These are all the runes. I didn't use up all of them yet. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of bored of it. I want to do something else, so I haven't used them all up yet. We ended up getting 37 Whips, because I already had one. And then I sold off the D-Boots. It's the only thing that I sold off. i probably gotten like 100 maybe plus D-Boots. And I sold them off because extending my tasks like is expensive-ish. I mean, it's 5 mil per and then doing as many as I did. Um, it definitely was pricey. But the D-Boots paid for it all. Paid for it in full. It's the only thing I sold. I didn't sell anything else. I didn't spend any other money on anything. That's the only thing. The only other thing I spent money on is Blood Runes. I bought more because I wanted them to even out to the Death Runes a little bit more. But I used money from my main account. So once I saw this loot tab, I got to transfer 100 mil back over to that account. And I'll show you guys that just so you guys know. And then also we got three Uncut Onyxes, which is nice. Um, I could probably just turn one of those into a Fury. I'll probably just sell them and then buy a Fury. But um, what I'm going to do with these whips now is I'm going to slowly sell them off. Because I put them all in at one time. It's just going to kind of crash the prices of the whips. And I won't get as much money for them. So I'm going to go ahead and start selling them all maybe five at a time until they're fully gone uh it should be around like two bill if i sell them right even more depending on the price but yeah i'm gonna start selling them off and then we're gonna open up the brimstone keys all right time to open up all these brimstone keys i'm excited to see what i get uh, i'll show you guys probably the first inventory and then after that i'll just show you guys the total loot afterwards 
But let's go and get ready with a thousand room doors. It's actually pretty good. Oh, they even give Dark Tone pieces? Dang, I already have that one though. Let's we'll see. What is this? This is because you slay it, right? Yeah, I'll just use that up. Maybe I'll be able to just click through this for you guys right now. We can just see this together live, honestly. If it doesn't fill up my inventory. Uh, I won't do that to you guys. I'll just see you guys back whenever I use them all. So here's the total loot from 42 brimstone keys. We got 2400 rune darts, 38 overloads, 550 dragon bolts unfinished, 672 mogash, which I was definitely not expecting. Some rock uh, tail. We got two Dr. middles and tops. So that's four pieces. I wish that I got like uh, the other one, whatever the bottom I think is what I'm missing. I wish I got one of those just because it would have finished up. 65 frost dragon bones, 50 anti. Uh, 89 bones. We had a lot of bones, a lot of prayer. 1600 red chins, which is super nice. And actually, I knew that I'd be getting some of these. So I kind of have a plan for them just to get my range level up. Only one ancient shard. And we actually got the amulet of the demon. Um, so that's kind of good, I guess. I don't know how much it outs for. I don't think it sells for a lot. Uh, I don't think they really work very well. I'm about to look up what it actually does and see if it's useful for us. But yeah, we got a lot of bones. That's definitely it is 99 prayer. A lot of supplies too. Like the overloads, that's huge. So I don't have to buy overloads. Now I can just buy uh, brews. Uh, especially the super prayers. I don't have to buy those. So for a new player, I would definitely recommend grinding out Abyssal Demons 100%. Get the Brimstone Key perk and just grind it out. You don't even have to do Abyssal Demons. Like you could do like any of the other ones. Like Dust Devils and all them. Just to get the keys because like you get a good amount of money for starter and then you get a lot of starter items Which is big honestly. It's really big um, So the next thing I'm gonna go do now is Katizo. I think I have five Complete um, ones and I'm gonna get a lot of clues I'll save up all the caskets at the end and then we'll open them together Real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and get the arc light because it says it's the best weapon to use as Katizo, so I might as well get it. I was gonna get it anyways. So it costs three shards for the dark light, and then three more shards for the arc light, and then I think I need to put charges in it, so I'm just gonna put all those in it. And there we go. Now we got 2,000 charges, which is 2,000 hits pretty much, so it's very nice. Now let's go ahead and do five Katizo kills. And hopefully we get an elite or two. That's what I'm hoping for. Got done doing all five of those Katizo kills. Got four hard caskets and we got one elite clue, which is awesome. I'm pretty sure there's still like a little bit over a bill. So that's pretty nice. I mean, there's only five kills to get an elite. It's pretty good. I think the drop rate is like one in 20 or something like that. Also, it gives a lot of like room bars and mahogany planks and logs. I'm pretty sure. I think I got quite a bit of logs. So pretty much what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sell this tab off of the stuff that I don't want because some stuff I want to keep like the rune bars and stuff I kind of want to keep so I can make rune darts for when I want to use blowpipe later and when we actually do raids. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get 99 prayer too with all the bones and sell off the extra stuff and then keep selling the whips. So I'm going to do all that just kind of sell everything off that I don't want and then I'll get you guys the whole tally on how much cash we have after that. And then also I'm going to use the ancient shards on the arc light just to give it the max charges or give me a lot of charges anyways. And then that's going to help out later on. So I'm going to do that real quick. Probably in the next clip you'll see is 99 prayer because I think it's going to take me a little bit to sell off the whips. No one's really buying right now and I don't want to put them all in. I want to try to get as much money for each one as I possibly can. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So let's go ahead and get 99 prayer and just sell off the tab. So I used up all the bones and it got me up to 92 prayer. Um, slowly selling off the whips. I think I've sold about 10 ish of them and I got five more in right now. Um, I combined the shards with the arc light to give me more charges. And then I think the next thing I'm going to do is go back to Abyssal Demons and use up these red chins because I want to get 99 range or at least in the 90s. Hopefully, they'll get me up there. So then I can go ahead and try to get the fire cape. Because I do want to like progress this account, like I want to make it strong. So I'm eventually going to max it, get the max cape, all that stuff. So I want to get fire cape, curses, all that. So I want to start working on that now. So I may not be buying any gear. I might do fire cape and try to get curses because I think I should be close to the three bill I think is what you need. 
And right now I got 2,200 uh, points, PK honor points. I think you need 4,400. So 2,000 more is not that bad. Uh, I'll be camping revs for that, of course. And then once I get that, then we'll start upgrading the gear and doing all that stuff and bossing more and then just going for the scythe from there. But yeah, I think that I'm going to go get the range up a little bit, use the chins because it'll be fast and easy. And then from there, we will try to get the fire cave maybe at some point or we'll get curses first. I don't know which one I'm going to do yet. But uh, we'll figure that out later. I did get 99 range. That really didn't take long at all. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is 99 mining and smithing. And maybe even 200 mining and smithing. We'll see. Because right now it's double XP weekend for mining and smithing. So I kind of just want to go do that. And get as high up there as possible. As close as I can to 200. But I don't think I'll like, get it. But I should get pretty close. And the reason for that is just because later on I want to get max cape and all that. And you need 200 mils for that anyway. So since it's double XP, I might as well go do it. It'll make it a little bit faster and all that. So it's literally what I'm going to be doing all weekend. Um, I'll keep you guys updated when I get 99 on these. And then I'll kind of keep you updated on the XP. But that's about it. Alright, so 99 mining and smithing is done. Uh, the event is over at the time I'm recording this. But um, I did get just 99. I was going to do more, but then I ended up not playing as much as I thought I would be. And then, yeah, so I just didn't get it. Um, I have almost all the stuff sold off from the loot tab, so shortly I'll be able to show you guys how much money we have. And now I'm about to go get 2,000 PK on a point, I think is what I need. Because I want to unlock curses, and then the reason for that is because it helped me bossing. And I feel like just knocking out early would be nice because then I could take all the money to and put it towards gear and anything else I want to put it towards and just not have to worry about curses. So I'm going to go kill res for a while until I have the 2,000 PK honor points I need. Got all the PK honor points now. I think it ended up being like 4,100, 4,200 is what I needed. And that's what I have. Um, and now all the items sold too. So I can show you guys how much money we made from doing Abyssal Demons. And let's go ahead and look in here. I got a one bill ticket right here. We got 2.4 bill and 100 mil tickets. And we have 1.8 bill in cash. So we made that much, which is pretty nice. I mean, it's definitely going to afford curses and some of the other stuff that I want to do. Uh, so what I'm going to go do now is actually buy curses and permanently unlock them. 3 bill and 4100 PK honor points and that is unlocked so now we're still left with just over 2 bill which is not bad at all I think the next thing I want to knock out is the fire cape I want to just go ahead and get Chad done get the fire cape so I have that knocked out and then after that the only thing left to do is just make more money some skilling maybe to work towards max cape and that's pretty much it so yeah um I'm trying to figure out if I want to buy a Kata crossbow to do Jad or not, or just use a rune crossbow and save my money. I'm not totally sure yet. I'm thinking about buying one, just because also that's like a gear upgrade, but we will see. Uh, I'll let you guys know before I go into Jad if I bought one or not. Okay, so there's a Cerberus event going on right now. Um, on this account, I really won't be able to do it. Because there's probably going to be a lot of people there in max. But I'm, I will go check it just to see. Because um, if no one's there, then I'll definitely grind servers on this account. But I'm definitely going to be grinding it on my iron account. Because I do need some better boots. So I'll definitely be doing that. Okay, I actually ended up doing the servers event on this account and on my other one. I did them both at the same time. It was actually a little bit difficult, but it was also kind of fun. And I did do a little bit of Abyssal Demons as well. As you can see, I have four whips up there, so I can sell three of them. And then from the Cerberus event, I ended up getting the Pagasian Boots twice, the Small Rolling Stone ones that you see in this loop tab, some effigies. And also, I did get the pet, and we opened up the pet, and we got um, another Smoldering Stone from the pet, which kind of stinks, but it is what it is. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here, guys. Hope you guys like this one. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe, as always. And I'll see you all next time.